Top 10 Best Fantasy Series As 2022 ends, it's nice to look back on how our lives have changed over the past few months, and how many new things are introduced in the fantasy genre. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix, so subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Now grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 best fantasy series. So let's get started. Number 10. House of Dragons A journey back to Westeros, the prequel to the HBO hit fantasy series Game of Thrones, came as a bit of a surprise for fans because it was hard to imagine House of the Dragon living up to the same hype as the show we have followed for years. But thanks to the tremendous care they put into this, from the writing to the ensemble cast, House of Dragon exceeded many high expectations. This fantasy show is packed with drama and fueled by anger, and you can't help but to just devote all your attention to every single scene so that you don't miss a single second. What feels fresh in House of Dragon is that besides the typical action sequences and beheadings we have become so familiar with in Game of Thrones fandom, it's also focused on internal strife between families, particularly the Targaryens, and with the second season confirmed, we better hold on to our seats for what's about to unfold. Number 9. The Lord of the Rings – The Rings of Power The Rings of Power on Amazon Prime Video shares the same feat as the Game of Thrones prequel. Based on the beloved work of J.R.R. Tolkien, The Rings of Power is filled with fresh faces and a sprinkle of familiar ones, making it nostalgic and new at the same time. Here we get to see the dark beginnings of the all-powerful Sauron, and the growing tension between man and elf since it is set a millennia before the events of the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. The Rings of Power, to be fair, does have its issues, but the overall story and the standout performances of Morfred Clark and the likes gave so much life to the show and the fandom. Number 8. The Sandman Based on the comic book by Neil Gaiman, The Sandman made its way to Netflix in August of 2022 after years of waiting and excitement. But this fantasy show proves that it is meant to be shown on screen, despite the production going back and forth for a really long time. We follow the life of Dream Slash Lord Morpheus, Tom Sturridge, as he navigates the world. Sturridge does an incredible job portraying this cosmic, curious, and grounded being. Besides Sturridge, the Sandman is backed by a wonderful and enigmatic cast who all shine on their own. Having received positive reviews and deserved recognition, one can say that this adaptation was a dream come true. Number 7. Warrior Nun This fantasy show follows orphan Ava, Alba Batista, who joins the group of warrior nuns after realizing she has supernatural powers. Together they are tasked to fight off demons in the world. The powerful cast also includes Lorena Andrea, Christina Tantari Young, and Thecla Rutan, among others. Who wouldn't want to see a fighting nun? Based on a comic book by Ben Dunn, this fantasy show is a fantastic adaptation and gives a somehow fresh story in the fantasy genre. Warrior Nun isn't afraid to discuss religion and mythology while still managing to be silly now and then. Another reason why the story works is because of the development of each character and their relationships. We have the famous chef, Ava and Beatrice, or Avatrice, which took over social media. Plus, nearly all the fight scenes are intricately choreographed and shot. Number 6. Wednesday Very kooky indeed. It's no surprise that Wednesday took the world by storm, despite being fairly new to the scene, considering that there are a lot of Adams Family fans out there who couldn't wait to see what this reiteration would offer. We all know and love Wednesday Adam, the ever-cynical teenager who doesn't let emotions get in her way. Jenna Ortega plays this very character in a way that feels new, despite her still keeping the charm we know and love from the previous iterations. While the rest of the Adamses are not shown too much, Wednesday still shows their importance. Wednesday's parents are still sickeningly adorable and in love. You can also tell that Wednesday's brother, Pugsley, Isaac Ordonez, looks up to her. They have a great dynamic overall, and it's nice for this new adaptation to keep their relationship as it is. There's also the twist of who Tyler, Hunter Dohan, really is that many may not see coming because he's the good guy. Wednesday is a fantasy show that subverts different stereotypes, effectively so. Number 5. Theodosia It's always fun to watch funny fantasy adventures that evoke nostalgia. And Theodosia does exactly that. This HBO show, based on the works of Robin Lefevers, follows the life of Theo, Eloise Little, a young and curious teen. Theo's parents run London's Museum of Legends and Antiquities. One day, Theo finds a tomb and retrieves the Eye of Horus, causing chaos. Together with her friends and brother, they fight a secret society that wants to take over the world using ancient dark magic. Theodosia is a fun fantasy show that you can watch with your family during a free day. 
there's a good amount of laughs, educational content, drama, and adventures to expect. Number 4. Stranger Things Obviously, Stranger Things is on this list. Stranger Things released its fourth season this past May, and it easily smashed yet another streaming record. We have followed the characters since 2016 when the main cast were still kids, so we pretty much grew up with them, thus making their story hold even more important. Season 4 of Stranger Things was filled with incredible action, emotional and even comedic elements, which effectively brought back the magic we love after a not-so-strong third season. Number 3. The Umbrella Academy Season 3 of The Umbrella Academy follows the dysfunctional Hargreaves family, yet again, for another wild time-traveling, apocalyptic adventure. However, this time around, the stakes are higher than ever. Their actions from Season 2 bled to the present time, and now they have to face the fact that they were replaced by the Sparrow Academy, with a more confident and snarky version of Ben as the leader. And they have caused yet another end-of-the-world event, a Kugel Blitz. What's great about this is that the Apocalypse plot has happened in every season, yet it still hasn't gotten old. In the third season of The Umbrella Academy, we see the siblings venture into a different journey, and even introduce us to a new team-up. The siblings' dynamic is still very much chaotic, but how the relationship gradually improves is the reason why they were saved. Number 2. Interview with the Vampire Interview with the Vampire is perhaps the best adaptation of the beloved fantasy novels by Anne Rice to date. Sure, the cult following of the movie of the same name is also a great watch by all means, but making the 2022 adaptation into a show format made the books come to life even more. We follow the lives of vampire Louis de Ponte de Lac, Jacob Anderson, and Lestat de Lioncourt, Sam Reed, as they navigate the times in their rather toxic relationship. One can also feel the palpable tension between the two vampires, no matter how much they hurt each other. Lestat is still our very bratty and manipulative vampire, but Reed somehow made the character annoyingly well-rounded and magnetic. While the show ended with Rashid being revealed as 500-year-old vampire Armand, Asad Zaman, we don't need to fret whether we will see these characters on screen again, because Season 2 is confirmed. They can't get rid of our beloved chaotic vampires just yet. Number 1. The Witcher – Blood Origin A prequel series set over a thousand years before the hit action-filled fantasy drama The Witcher. The Witcher Blood Origin comes from creator Declan Debara and explores the elusive elven world where seven outcasts reluctantly unite against an unjust and power-hungry empire. Starring Michelle Yao, Lenny Henry, and Nathaniel Curtis, The Witcher Blood Origin reveals the creation of the very first Witcher, leading to unprecedented event that altered the universe forever, intertwining the worlds of monsters, humans, and elves. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way, and thank you for watching.